Now to build the transformer differential protection system using numerical relays, we would place two current transformers on both sides of the transformer. And as we know that, the zone of protection is determined and started from the CT location. Both current transformers will subtract the polarity, and the CT star point will be toward the protected object. And this would be the three-phase CT wiring diagram where the CT star point toward the protected object, which is the power transformer, and the CT terminals are Y and B connected to the relay dot point. Now we have a case study for a step-down power transformer with the following data, where the apparent power equals 260 megavolt ampere, the delta side voltage is 132 kV, while the star side voltage is 13.8 kV, the delta side rated current is 262.43 amps, while the star side rated current is 2510.22 amps. The CT ratio is 300 to 1 for the delta side, while for the star side is 3000 to 1. During the normal loading conditions, the primary current flow through the power transformer would be in this direction. And with subtractive CT polarity, the secondary current flow through the CT secondary circuits would be in this direction. The current flow during the full loading conditions would be for the primary delta side, which is the high voltage side, the three phase currents will equal to 262.43 amps with balanced angles and acting as a relay reference winding. While for the secondary star side, which is the low voltage side, the three phase currents will equal to 2510.22 amps with balanced angles but lagging the high voltage side by 90 degrees, as per the transformer vector group. Also, we can notice that the low voltage side terminals would have a phase shift of 180 degrees due to the CT star point direction and the CT connection to the relay. The secondary current flow to the relay according to the CT ratios would be for the high voltage side 0.8747 ampere and for the low voltage side 0.8367 ampere. From those measurement values, we must consider the following points in the transformer differential calculations. The different current magnitudes, and this could be compensated by using the unit values in the calculations rather than using the ampere values. The angle phase shift and the phase mismatching and this could be compensated by using the proper compensation matrix. The type of changer that affects the transformer winding ratio, which affects the current magnitude at the same loading condition. And this could be compensated by two different ways. Either connecting the voltage transformer to the relay and get continuous voltage measurement and hence changing the base current value. Or connecting the transformer type of changer BCD with the value of each type voltage difference then the relay could calculate the actual running voltage and change the base current value. Now for the transformer differential protection calculations, the relay using the baryonic current values where I relay equals to I measured in amps over I nominal in amps multiplied by the compensation matrix. I nominal is the quotient of the apparent power over root 3 multiplying by the transformer side voltage and CT ratio. The compensation matrix is used for both transformer sides, where for the delta side, which is the reference winding, matrix 0 is used. Matrix 0 means multiplying the current values by 1, no changes in the magnitudes or angles. And for the star side, matrix 3 must be used according to the transformer vector group DYN3. How can we derive matrix 3? There is a general 3x3 three three matrix from which you can get any matrix by just substitute for the K by the vector group number. In our example, we would substitute for the K by 3, then we can get the matrix 3. The relay baryonic currents would be calculated as, for the high voltage side, it would equal to the quotient of the measured current in amps, which is equal to the delta rated nominal current, and the rated nominal current, multiplied by matrix 0. And the final result will be 1 baryonic for the 3 phases, with 0, 240, and 120 degrees. For the low voltage side, it would equal to the quotient of the measured current in amps, which is equal to the star rated nominal current and the rated nominal current, multiplied by matrix 3. And the final result will be 1 per unit for the three phases with 180, 60, and minus 60 degrees. Now, as the differential current calculations equal to the vectorial summation of the transformer baryonic currents, then the differential current will be zero, which indicates a stability condition. Now let's discuss the stability during external single phase fault. 
If a single phase to ground fault occurred on the transformer star side, the star earthed side would allow a single phase current flow between the phase and the earthed neutral, while the delta side wouldn't allow a single phase current flow. Let's say an external single phase to ground fault occurred on the red phase of the star side. A high current will be drawn in this direction. Due to the transformer polarity, the phase current on the delta side would be drawn in this direction. No phase current on Y or B phases on the delta side. So the phase current of the R phase would flow to the line terminals in this direction. As we can see here, the line current in the star side would be detected by the CT of the red phase, while the line currents in the delta side would be detected by the CT of phases B and C. As the differential calculations is done phase-wise, so in this case the relay would issue a trip. Sure, this will not be the relay action. So how would be the stability achieved? Assume a fault with current value twice the nominal current of the transformer. Then the low voltage side baryonic currents will equal to 0, 2 over root 3 angle 180 degree, and 2 over root 3 angle 0 degree. And for the high voltage side, the line current would equal to the phase current, as the other two phases has no current flow. Hence, the fault current would equal to the line current over root 3. Then, by substituting with the current value in the baryonic equation, we would get the baryonic currents with 0, 2 over root 3 angle 0 degree, and 2 over root 3 angle 180 degree. Then, the differential current would be 0, which indicates a stability condition. Now, it's the time for a tricky point. What about YND3 transformer vector group? If we have a YND3 transformer and the phase to phase fault occurred between C and B phases on the delta side, a current will be drawn in the transformer at this direction. Then the baryonic currents for the high voltage side would equal to 1 angle 0, 0, and 0, assuming that the fault current equal to the transformer star rated nominal current. And for the low voltage side, the baryonic currents will equal to 2 over 3 angle 180 degree, 1 over 3 angle 180 degree, 1 over 3 angle 0 degree. By this way, the relay would indicate an unstability condition and issue a trip command. Sure, this is a false tripping. So what is the solution? In case the delta side is the reference winding, we could use matrix 0 to compensate for the vector group. But in case the star side is the reference winding, we should replace matrix 0 by matrix 12 which is similar to matrix zero, but it removes the zero sequence components. And by this way, we could get the stability condition.